Hello, I'm David Charles. I'm a neurologist practicing in Nashville, Tennessee, and I serve as chairman of the Alliance for Patient Access. The Alliance for Patient Access is an organization of physicians advocating for our patients to have access to therapies. A biologic is an exciting new class of medication. They're made from living tissues, or cells, and they're used to treat conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, and some forms of cancer. They represent some of the greatest breakthroughs in medicine right now. Conventional medications, where you might go to the pharmacy and get a generic substitution, are very small molecules that can be easily replicated in a laboratory setting. Biologics, on the other hand, are very complex medications that are made from living tissue. The manufacturing steps for biologics are quite complex, and the end result is a very large structure that's used to treat a host of conditions. The FDA has created a new pathway for follow-on biologics. Follow-on biologics could also be deemed by the FDA to be interchangeable. If a biologic is interchangeable with the original biologic, it does not mean that it's a generic. There are no generics for biologics. Because each patient is different, may take different medications, have different medical conditions, if a biologic is prescribed and the pharmacy or the insurance company tries to change that biologic, the physician must be notified in the event that the patient were to have a complication. This whole debate about the substitution of biologics reminds me of a patient of my own. So I treat both children and adults with biologics, and I had an adult patient that was being treated with a biologic. A substitution was made by another physician, and there was an attempt to convert the patient from one biologic to another using a formula around the dosing. Unfortunately, this resulted in some terrible adverse events that lasted for several weeks in my patient. They did resolve, but it really highlights the importance of physician notification any time a biologic is substituted. Some who would argue that physicians shouldn't be notified when a biologic is substituted would argue that too much information might confuse the patient or confuse the physician. This simply isn't true. Physicians have to be aware of exactly which biologic the patient's receiving. The physician must be notified about changes, and the additional information certainly wouldn't create confusion.